All right, welcome back to another Mastercam video tutorial. And this tutorial is going to be showing you guys how to do the solids. And now this is going to be strictly solids. So you really learn how to create the geometry and extrude it, make it into a solid. Okay, there won't be any machining done in this. If you do want to learn the machining parts of it, you uh, this will all be included in either Mastercam uh, milling that we have available or lathe that we have available as well. And soon we will have the multi-axis done uh, as well. But this is strictly solids. Now to begin, uh, we have, uh, now this is, uh, we're using Mastercam X6. You can still use this video tutorial if you have X1 through X5 or the upcoming X7 as well. The interface for them did not change and the geometry creation part did not change as well. And that's why we can actually use this video tutorial to create any of those, okay? Or use that for all of those software, not just the X6 version. So to get this started, uh, this is our part. It's going to be a 3 inch, if you notice, by 5 inch part. So it's going to be a 5 inch by 3 inch uh, part by 1 inch. So it's going to be 1 inch deep. It's a very basic part. It's got a little pocket that we're going to be milling out. Now, not in this uh, exercise. We're basically just drawing the uh, solid for it. And then we got the uh, 5 holes drilled through right here. Now, the way we do this in solids or the geometry creation for it, what I do is I look at the top. And basically, I'm going to create a, a geometry or a sketch for the top part. In this session, I'm only going to be showing you how to draw these lines right here, the four outer boundary lines, and the rectangular pocket uh, outer boundary as well. Okay? Now, um, one thing to remember, it's a 3 inch by 5 inch long. And then the other pocket that I have is 1.75 by 4.5 inch uh, long as well. But this one starts out at 0, 0. So my block start, starts out at 0, 0 over here at the origin. And this one's going to start out at 0.25 or negative 0.25 and then 1 inch up. So those are things to remember. Now, I have the printout in front of me and I'll be working with it. Now, this, this file is included in your exercise file. So you are welcome to open it up in PDF and print it out. I also have all the SOLIDWORKS models included if you guys want to look at this as a solid model or a solid drawing as well. I include all my exercises in uh, Mastercam. So I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to come over here to line. Click on line and let's go over line real quick before we get started. There's an X, Y and Z up top that you can use or what we call a fast point. A fast point, if you click on it, it's going to basically be um, same thing as X, Y and Z but separated by commas. Okay. Now I'm just click the escape real quick to go back to my regular um, settings over here. Um, X, Y, and Z, those indicate the start point of your line. Now, if you type in your X, Y, and Z, in this, we're only going to be basically worried about the X and Y. So you just type in the X and Y, and then it would start you off snapped at a certain point that you picked. And then if you type in another X and Y and hit enter, it will end it at another point. Let's get that started by doing that. So my first point is going to be 0, 0, okay? I'm going to hit enter, and you're going to see it snapped right at the origin, okay? Now I know my, my second point is going to be up 3, so 0 on the y-axis, on the x-axis, I'm sorry, and up 3 on the y-axis. And the reason I know that, if I go back to my drawing, 0 over here, and then 3 over here. So basically I'm drawing the outer boundary. I'm going to be following this uh, creation. I'm going to minimize this. Now, if you're afraid that you're not going to draw a straight up circle, a straight up uh, line, come over here and click on the vertical. If you click on this, this, this assures you that the line will only be vertical. And even if I go left and right, the line will only be vertical. If I come over here and click on horizontal, that means my line can only be horizontal. If I uncheck it, then I can draw my line anywhere I want or snap it to anywhere I want. Now, this over here is the distance or the length of the line. And this is the angle of the line. So I can actually draw it in a few different ways. And I'll show you how to do those uh, as we go. So my first one, I already snapped it at 0, 0. But I'm going to snap my second point at um, my x is going to be 0. My y is going to be 3.0. Enter. Okay. And if I go back over here, zoom out a little bit, you're going to see that my line created from 0 to 3 inches long. Okay. Now if I want to start out my second line up top, all I would have to do is type in the same thing. I just uh, ended my, my first one. So 0, 3, enter, and it snaps at that point. Now I know my line is going to be around here somewhere. 
uh, at five inches. So what, what I can do uh, also, I can type in the same thing I just did. So I can type in negative five and three, or I can go to fast point and just type it in. So negative five comma three, enter. And you're gonna see my line get created like that way. So this is gonna be three inches. This is gonna be negative five inches, okay? So again, if I wanna go back to fast point and I go negative five comma three, enter, it snaps at my last endpoint, okay? Now, I, now I can do this also by going down here and doing my second point. So if I want my second, my, my next point to be three inches, but 270 degrees, enter, and it will create my second line from here to here. The reason why I know the 70 to 270 degrees, if you draw any point, any point anywhere, to the right of it is zero degrees. Straight up top is 90. To the left is 180, so it's 180 degrees from the right. And then straight down of it is 270. So basically, I'm drawing a point right here, and I'm telling I want that line to be three inches long in the bottom direction, and 270 degrees from this line so this is going to be 90, 180, 270, okay? And then I can draw my last line if I want to. So usually on my last line, what I would do is come over here and click on line and then just connect those two lines. There you go. If you want to come over here and click fit to screen, zoom out a little bit, and you'll see your entire box. Now this is our outer box. Now to draw the inner box, one thing to remember, what I like to do always is start up at a certain point. Well, let's let's have this point right here be our starting point. Now, you can ignore the radiuses right now because we'll create them later. But let's start out at point two five and one. But this is in a negative direction, so this is negative point two five and one inch. Okay. So I'm gonna come over here to line, and I'm gonna tell it my first point in the x-axis is negative point two five, y is one, and I'm gonna hit enter. And you're going to see, there it is. Oops, uh, just sometimes if you if you click on it and you um, don't zoom in or out, sometimes for some reason, and I don't know if it's a glitch in MasterCam, it doesn't show the line. And that's why when I clicked anywhere else, it already created my starting point right here, but then it didn't, all of a sudden it ended it where I clicked. So I'm going to press Escape and then pr Control Z. Now, I don't know if you've seen any of my previous tutorials. I like to keep all my mistakes in the videos to show you guys how to fix them. So let's go back again over here to line and do the same thing. Negative 0.25, tab, one inch, enter. Okay, so now it, um, if I zoom out, and now there it is. See, sometimes it just doesn't want to show it to you for some reason. And like I said, it's always been this way in MasterCam. I don't know if it's a glitch or not. But anyways, um, our next point is going to be, I know it's going to be 1.75. So what I can do is click anywhere up, okay? So I know it's going to be in the up direction. Click anywhere here, come back to the length of the line, and then type in 1.75. Now remember, I'm, the, why, the reason why I'm doing it differently in all these ways is to show you all the different ways that a line can be used. Okay, so let's go again over here. Click on this endpoint and just click anywhere on the left side of it because I know it's in this direction. And then type in 4.5 because that's how long the line is going to be. Again, I'm going to do the same thing over here. Down, I know it's going to be 1.75. There you go. And then I'm just going to close the loop. There you go. Now if I go back to my drawing, you're going to see that this is my outer box. This is my inner box and it seems like we have done it correctly okay now in the next session i'm going to be showing you guys how to do the fillets around these corners as well as create a circle and translate it four or five times over here i believe we have five circles in this or basically the the circles that you'll be drilling uh, straight through all right so that will do it for this session